Hey guys, what's up? Um, uh, next weekend I'll be doing a little survival uh, trip, basically going with very minimal gear. Uh, the scenario is I went out for a light uh, scout with my pellet gun. When I uh, tripped, rolled down a hill, uh, lost my pellet gun, couldn't find it, and now I am lost and in a survival situation where I have to spend the night before I can get back to camp. Alright, or find my way back to camp. The only thing that you don't see here is my canteen and canteen cup. That's it. Again, this was a light day scout, so I only have very minimal gear with me. So let's go into uh, the contents. This is a red sharpie here. And this is just a molly bag. That is a ripoff of an expedition Proteus, I believe. Okay. And I've just thrown on a a strap from an old gym bag. I'm going to be testing out uh, my Gerber multi-tool here. Rather than um, than testing out my my SE5 more, I would like to test out this multi-tool so that I can uh, bust out a little review on it for you guys. In this outer compartment here. My little survival kit. Um, when I'm when I'm hunting with my pellet gun, this is the survival kit I carry. This is it. Again, I'm going bare minimum because I'm going back to camp. It's just a light scout way from there to hunt. Um, but anyways, I do have a video on this Altwood survival kit that I put up recently. It should be near my uh, fire starting kit. I've uh, just thrown in a Coglin's fire steel and some trail tape. So that's that. Again, very minimal here. This is just a small empty pouch in which I can carry this on my person, given to me by the army, and I can hook it on my belt. Last two items is in my light day scout, uh, if I can't find food, I'll obviously be gone for a while, so I carry some food. This is one of those, um, cron, um, rather than, everybody knows about their pasta side dishes for like homemade MREs. You know, when I make a homemade MRE, I like to throw those in there. Well, they also have uh, rice sides, only difference besides pasta, hence the name, it's rice. And uh, this is one of my favorites. Uh, probably can't see it all the way but it's uh, just chicken broccolini all you gotta do is add a cup of water boil it then uh, once the water's boiling let it simmer you know take it off the fire let it sit for about eight minutes and boom it's a quick easy meal that's pretty good it's got some dehydrated carrots and uh, obviously broccoli and uh, the rice so that's good I don't plan on eating this because there's no eating utensil in here and if need be, take my uh, my little multi-tool here and make something to eat with. Probably just some chopsticks with some twigs. You know, I don't got time to try and carve a spoon or something. And then a uh, main reason for this trip is somebody uh, gave me a video request to try out my emergency shelter. Here, I'll put it like this so that's better for you. Um, I do have a video on it, so check it out. Basically, it's two normal garbage bags uh, split down both sides if this was it. Lay the other one a little bit over it, and then tape it on this side, flip it around, tape it on this side. I reinforced the corners, um, and then right here I used uh, white duct tape. That way, you know, if you're walking around you see a shelter like that, uh, you're going to notice a black shelter with orange and white duct tape on it. I am this particular shelter um, to keep it somewhat airtight and compact. I've I put it in one uh, quart Ziploc baggie, squeezed out the air, and then put it in another, squeezed out the air, and that makes a reasonable uh, seal for a while. Um, it'll last about a day, and then it will start to inflate again as air slowly seeps into both bags. But that's all right. Um, there you go. I have basic shelter. 
I uh, don't have any cordage as you can see, but you know, I might use this as cordage or to um, mark my campsite for uh, you know if I don't make it back to camp or something. Uh, in some way, somebody if they're looking for me, um, there you go. Okay, so I'm going very basic here. You know, um, again, I don't plan on eating. Uh, that's just. You know, again, it's a light scout, so you'll probably be leaving in the middle of the day. You probably already ate lunch. That's just a late dinner if you get caught out or you're just out for a while and you get a little hungry. So that's my usual scout pack, actually. Um, pretty basic. Usually it's my SE, or from now on it will be my SE5 um, riding with me on scouts. Before that I just had a simple cheap uh, $30 bushcraft knife. Um, but it failed. That's why I was looking into an SE5 or BK2. But there you go. This is a real basic kit to be carried on my person next weekend. So uh, I'm looking forward to that trip. It'll really test my skills. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time. And uh, you know, hopefully, I don't starve while I'm out there. And again, if I do, I've got a little bit of food there. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And uh, hope you enjoy this video. Bye.